<laughs> it's here. <laughs> I got myself. Um, those of you that are new to this channel, which is probably most of you, should go back and watch my 2015 iMac unboxing. I fanboyed out. I was so excited. And while I'm a little less excited this time around, because I'm older, I'm still really excited about this. Um, but let's just tear into it, because this is just, I only get to do this like once every couple of years. And it's actually been um, three years since I've unboxed an iMac. Oh, three and a half years. And uh, the last time I unboxed a computer on this channel, I think that was it. I don't think I unboxed my MacBook Pro on this channel. But the, um, the MacBook Pro that I bought in July of 2018 was basically all thanks to you all for watching the ads on this channel. Uh, this time around, I don't give you any credit for this because I bought this completely without you know YouTube money, basically. Um, I did sell my old iMac for 1200 bucks, which actually was a little bit below, ooh, a little bit below market value. Uh, I think it's worth 14, but I sold it for 12 for that. The case design of this iMac is uh, unchanged. It actually hasn't received any modification other than around the rear of the iMac um, since the last model. So this, this, this design was introduced, oh man, like 2006, this design was introduced. And back then it was a, a full square. Now in 2011, it gained uh, kind of tapered edges. So the, the back middle is really fat and the edges are really thin. I don't really care how the back is designed because you don't ever see the back. It's not like a retail environment where the back really matters. Um, my last iMac was a Core i7 4 gigahertz machine with uh, 32 gigs of RAM a Radeon uh, 395X and a, oh man, it's so exciting, and a um, three terabyte fusion drive, which is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 128 gigs of SSD married to a uh, three terabyte 72 RPM hard drive. And that was the biggest downside of that last Mac was the, and I felt it every time I used the computer, I felt it how slow it was. So um, while I didn't need a more powerful iMac versus my old one, I absolutely um, needed to move to SSD. It was driving me insane. And the reason why I didn't, you know, back then, you see me or not, the reason why I had the, um, the Fusion Drive was I wanted a lot of space for working with video files, which I ended up using roughly between 500 gigs and one and a half terabytes of storage when I'm actively working on video projects for you guys. For long road trips, it's more like two terabytes. And back then it was Thunderbolt 1, so it wasn't quite very fast to add external storage. And um, now with Thunderbolt 3, so it's a 40 gigabit uh, per second um, throughput. But more importantly was the only SSD option that would fit my needs was the one terabyte and it barely fit my needs and it was $1,000 extra. Now it's, um, I think $900 extra to go with two terabytes. So um, I, that's what I did. So it's a two terabyte SSD in here, which means it will meet my needs for the big video projects. And with Thunderbolt 3, I can add a one terabyte external scratch disk, um, SSD scratch disk, and have almost as fast as the uh, internal drive. So. This world is so much better um, now with the SSD being in, the, in here versus the hard drive. Plus, uh, less constant noise because there's a hard, no hard drive, no moving parts, and also um, a little bit less power usage because there's no moving parts because the wafer and stuff are spinning. Uh, other than that, this computer here, I probably will regret not blowing out my serial number. Uh, this computer here is a, um, an I, a 9900 i9, uh, Core i9 CPU. The turbo boosts up to five gigahertz on two of the cores. It's eight core, eight physical cores, eight virtual cores with hyper-threading. Uh, the Vega 48 uh, GPU with eight gigs of video RAM. My last machine only had four gigs of video RAM um, and 40 gigs of RAM as opposed to 32. Uh, 40 is still more than I need, but I, I used I used 32. Uh, I mean, I, I would hit that 
that that figure before. Also, since I uh, bought the last computer, uh, Apple switched over to the San Francisco font as their primary user or system font or pr promotional marketing font. Uh, I purchased with this computer. Um, I went with a full um, numeric keypad on the sides, so at work I'm using the um, the black Apple keyboard for the iMac Pro with the uh, number pad. And I've really gotten used to it, so um, you can't buy the black one with this because it's not a Pro, but it's close enough. But it gives you a lot bigger buttons, a bigger number pad. You've got the trackpad in here as well. Uh, we'll go into that in a second. The, um, the machine itself is going to be super fast. It's the fastest computer that Apple makes in single core performance. Uh, once you get a multi-core performance, though, the iMac Pro with its 16 uh, core CPU or 18 core is still faster. All right, let's start this round again. Packaging is unchanged. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, this machine is going to be uh, about 25% faster than my top of the line July 2018 MacBook Pro, which is also a Core i9, but it's um, a lot slower. But, you know, you have lower thermal ceilings when it comes to MacBook Pros over the uh, IMAX. And my MacBook Pro only has one terabyte of SSD versus two. And it does have 32 gigs of RAM on my MacBook Pro. This will have more, but this will be significantly faster. Uh, especially when it comes to transcoding content, editing raw images, and um, editing video. So this will still remain to be my full-time production machine for video work. And the MacBook Pro will be my mobile production machine. But yeah, you YouTube people get no credit for this machine because this was bought completely with my money. No YouTube money was harmed in the making of this iMac, but I am saving my YouTube money right now for a bigger project later this year. I think we're up to uh, like two grand in my AdSense account right now from Google for YouTube revenue, and an extra 800 bucks in my Amazon affiliates account for um, YouTube revenue. So thank you all very much for watching these videos. Let's go ahead and do the RAM upgrade, which I will bring you in. So here's our uh, two 16 gigabyte sticks for a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. There are four user accessible RAM slots in this machine, so uh, you'll leave the two matched four gigabyte sticks in there and then add your 32 gigs for a total of 40. Once we peel back this paper though, our warranty begins. Uh, so yeah, so we have, we have uh, this is great though, because as far as the IO goes, so, you know, Apple's always a fan of removing ports, and um, that's one part of my MacBook Pro that I don't like, is I have to run a Thunderbolt 3 hub at my desk to get everything to work. Um, in this machine, we have brand new Thunderbolt 3 ports, along with USB-C, still gigabit Ethernet, four USB 3.1 super speed ports, uh, SD, and a microphone. Uh, it would have been nice to have a 10 gigabit uh, port for this, but um, we don't. So if access in the RAM, little area here we gotta peel this protected film off. The CPU coolers back here actually look a little bit larger than my previous one, so a little bit more airflow. Press a button right here. There's that. Pop this open. I should be shielding myself, I'll just hold on to this when it goes time to actually install the RAM. So you'll see here we've got two matched four gigabit pairs. Sorry, gigabyte pairs. Lift that up. Leave those unchanged. And install the new ones. And lay that back down. And reinstall your door. All right. I'm going to now get this thing set up in my dock and we will, uh, I'll show you guys the final view of my workstation. My 2019 setup, so I should go a little further back here. So uh, down here is our battery backup, our APC battery backup. It gets about uh, 15 minutes of run time when the power goes out. Great for not losing your files, especially when the iMac has no backup battery. Desk is shitty, but we're in a small place until the basement's done being renovated. Uh, this is the best I can do. I have a nicer desk picked out for the basement when it's done, and I'll have a whole man cave down there with a workstation. So this is kind of a temporary setup. You'll see over here, 
Um, these are uh, these awesome. My my friend Abby makes these. Um, they are four 2.4 amp USB A ports with uh, with a power port as well. We also have a Cat two Cat six under here with a um, Unify 802.11 AC Pro AC access point. Um, so up here we have our um, Yeti microphone, obviously, which is really nice and, and obviously sounds good. And then uh, the MacBook Pro which is the one that you saw in box the previous time. That's the 2.9 gigahertz model. Uh, Epson scanner. I've been working on a, a winter project where I scan a bunch of my childhood photos in that my mom and grandmother gave me when I bought my house. So I've been going through those and digitizing them. And then finally the iMac itself. A cool dock here. It is brushed aluminum. On the front you've got a SD, micro SD. You've got headphone jack. You've got a USB-C port and three USB-A ports. Um, most importantly, it brings the iMac up to a more ergonomic uh, height, which is great. Um, but second of all, um, it, it allows those ports on the front to be accessed, which is really nice. It's like I, I'm constantly doing like this number where I'm like hot behind here, fiddling around with it and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see here with the num with the numpad keyboard, um, it makes things a little bit awkward because you know if you, if you got to kind of go to your left to type and then to your right to trackpad to keyboard, whereas the OEM setup you can do this. And then this, but um, having the numpad is just extra nice. Uh, that's a little bit of cable management there. Uh, 1.28 terabytes in my uh, time machine backup. Awesome. So um, that's it, really, for the unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm super stoked, obviously. And this is going to be a really fantastic setup for. All the stuff I do these days, video editing, photo editing, work, play, everything. All right, well, have a good day. Rock on.